on my most recent video I got a comment asking about um, the meta files in Simu for games, and I'm assuming that either means um, launching the game through Steam or putting it in the Steam uh, or in the Simu emulator. So I'm gonna do both just for fun. Why not? So first, we have our Simu emulator folder. If you haven't had this set up yet, um, there's a great video by BSOD Gaming um, on how to do that. Uh, he covers pretty much everything, and then I have my game, Shantae's Risky, Shantae Risky's Revenge here, and so it has three folders, code, content, and meta. Now, um, other games will also have DLC and updates, and they're just going to be the in, in the exact same format, just called DLC or update, with the game name, obviously. So really, you're just going to want to drag in the game to the games folder, DLCs folder, or updates folder, and there it is. And then you're going to open CMU. And now the way I like to do that, uh, this is just a me thing. Um, you go to install game title update or DLC. You go into uh, games DLC or update into your game meta, and then there should be a meta.xml file. You just click it, and boom, it's installed. Now to launch it through Steam, you're gonna want to do a little, um, not complicated things, but not necessarily easy things. So, this is the wrong folder. You're going to want to go to code and find this RPX or whatever. It's going to be the name of the game dot something. Like, for instance, Wind Waker is also dot RPX. That's not a great example. What about you? RPX fun. I think it actually no. No, they are all RPX files. They're just named differently. My bad. Um But you're gonna find your RPX file. Then you're gonna go into Steam. You're gonna go add game at a non-Steam game. And you're going to if Simu doesn't show up in here, then you're gonna go to browse. Uh where you have Simu installed, so Simu. Add selected programs, and then you're gonna find it in here. I like to add them to my favorites just in case. Then you're gonna rename it to whatever game it's gonna be playing. So Shante Versky's Revenge Directors Cut. Boom. And then you're gonna come here to target. Copy this up here. If the games folder is in the same folder as the uh EXE for Simu, then you're just going to start it at games, but if it is not in the same folder, then you're going to copy the entire thing. So I'm just going to copy it in games since they're in the same folder. And then you're going to add backslash um, whatever your RPX file is named. So the easy way to do that is just rename, copy the entire thing, and paste it. Make sure it has the .rpx at the end, and then put your quotes. Now, something that I personally like to do is add custom artwork. So to do that, you're going to come here to something. Well, you can find it anywhere. You can make your own. It doesn't matter. I like to use Steam Grid DB. It's a lot easier. And you're just going to look up your game. So Shante Risky's Revenge Director's Cut. There it is. And you're going to need at the least four images if you want to add an icon. Uh, well, this doesn't have any icons, but if you want an icon, then that's five. But to get all the artwork for everything, you're going to need four images. So you're going to need your grid. You're going to need your header. You're going to need your hero. And you're going to need your logo. So you just get all these. I have a folder specifically for Steam DB images for all my non-Steam games and just custom ones as well. So what I like to do is name them specifically. So for this, I'm going to abbreviate it as SSR for Shantae Risky's Revenge and then Grid, because this is the grid. And then you're just going to do that for all the other things. So SSR logo. Oh, why are you open SSR 
Hero. And SSR header. Now once you have all those installed, you can go back to Steam. Now you'd think that the logo goes here. It does not. So this is what's actually going to be used by uh, Big Picture Mode. So if you want it to be displayed correctly by Big Picture Mode, then you're going to need to put your header here. So you're just going to come to where you've saved, saved your images, uh, change this to TGA or PNG, and then I am SSR header, and then boom, there it is. And there we have it. It's set up for scene grid DB, or for big picture, and then for here you're gonna do set custom background, pictures, scene grid DB, and then you're going to find your hero. And then you're going to set your logo. And you can adjust the logo however you want. I'll just make this a bit bigger. Maybe put it in the center. Boom, there it is. And then you're going to come to the home. You're going to scroll, you're going to find this, and you're going to set custom artwork. This is your grid. So where's there's my grid. Boom. And now you do have to do one more thing. So if you're like me and you have recent games up here, then you're going to come down, launch the game, you can close it or whatever. Why doesn't it launch? Okay, then hold on, I'll check that out. But you're going to see a blank thing here, and this is your game, and you're just going to not browse local files, don't do that. You're going to set custom artwork, and this is also the header. So, I'm going to figure out why this was not launching it into the game. Ah, that's right. Okay. Okay. That's my bad. Um, so instead of just putting the game in there, like I did here, right before you have the directory to the game in the target, you're going to do slash G. That's actually going to load the game. And if you want it in full screen, you can go at the end and do slash F for full screen. And there we go, we should be able to hit play, and it should launch directly into Shantae. There we go. Then let you use the... It will not let you use this Steam community tab, I guess, for some reason. Because I normally am. But it will display here that you are playing um, whatever game and it will display the name of the game that you're playing by whatever you named it. So for me, it would say to my friends that I'm playing Risky's Revenge Director's Cut. <clears throat> that is all I can really think of that that comment would be asking about. If it was asking about BCML and setting it up for mods, I don't know if that asks for your meta file. But if it does, then I would not be able to show that um, because I have already set up BSNL. I don't want to uninstall it just to reinstall it. So um, what I can do, though, is link the BCML setup guide that shows you how to do that. So there's that. That's, that's it. This is that's all you need to do. And then you can play your games. Have it right in your Steam library. Bye.